which I know isn't a lot. Maybe in future I can give you an hour or two, but it's better than nothing, I hope. Anyway, uh, I just launched Epic Battle Fantasy V on Newgrounds. Yesterday I launched it on Congregate, so now I'm just streaming to distract myself so that I'm not just refreshing the page over and over again. Warning, which... So uh, I, I thought I'd stream some, uh, some Flash games. And this one here, Death vs. Monstars, it's a very old one. It's actually more than 10 years old, but it's one of my favorites. It's one that uh, I keep coming back to every once in a while because it's it's quite short and it's a fun shoot 'em up So uh, I thought I'd show everyone, and if you haven't played it yet, then you can go check it out for free afterwards, and there's a link, into the, there's a link in the description that you can uh, easily check out. Anyway, let's uh let's erase my old saved game and start again. So uh let's let's see how loud the music is in this game. Is that a reasonable volume? Can you still hear me? Anyway, this is a pretty basic um shoot 'em up type game. Uh the controls are quite interesting because uh it's not controlled like a normal shoot 'em up. You don't use a keyboard or any sort of directional input. You just use your mouse. So uh the little guy you control, which is the skull, he just follows your mouse. And you kind of like uh drag the the crosshair behind him when you move. So what you do is uh you just hold down a button on the mouse to kind of lock the aim into one position. And uh it works really well, you know? It's just purely mouse controls, really simple to learn. And uh, you, you don't need to worry about pressing anything on your keyboard. Except for your super attack. I think that's the space bar. So that was the first level, that was easy. And uh, it is a bit of an upgrade game, but it also requires skill. So if you're very skilled, you don't have to upgrade anything and you can actually get through the whole game without anything, without any upgrades. But uh, I always go for the weapon upgrades first, just so I can beat the levels faster. Because who needs health when you can just buy attack, you know? So uh, in this game, I, I don't know if I can actually read and play at the same time, so I might have to wait till I finish each level before I actually look at the chat and see what you guys are saying. But, uh, so far the levels are pretty easy to begin with, so I can juggle a bit of both. Will I play EBF 5 again? Uh, yeah, I will, just... Not right now, I need a break from the game. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I don't sound very enthusiastic when I'm playing EBF 5. Because, uh, well, I do enjoy playing it, just because uh, I, I kind of need to finish everything in it, just so I can say I've actually done it, because I've never 100 percented EBF5 before without cheating. I always use, like, debug tools when playing it, so I always uh, set the enemy HP to 1 and just rush through it. So I've never gotten all the achievements in EBF5 without cheating, so that's kind of what the stream is for. It's kind of like my, my proper 100% run without cheats. But other than that, it's uh, it's hard for me to pretend to be excited when I play EBF5 because I'm so familiar with the game. I already know everything that's in there, and there's no surprises for me. Except for when sometimes bosses uh, do an attack that ends up being much more powerful than I expected. In which case, uh, I might die even. Even though I programmed the game, I still get surprised sometimes by how powerful monsters can be. As far as this game goes, uh, it's mostly just this kind of stuff, but it gets harder and harder each level. It gets pretty hectic towards the end, and I've actually set some pretty high scores on Congregate for this game, because uh, I play the endless mode at the end. And hold on a second. Let's see. Okay, spacebar is slow motion. I actually never really need to use that, because uh, I don't find this game is... It's not hard enough for me to actually need to use slow motion for anything. Like, I, I can dodge all the enemies in this game, no problem. 
I actually completed it several times before I found out there was a slow motion button. And uh, it's double click, okay, that's that's what your super attack is. So I double click and I get a big wave of like bullets or stars or whatever. So that's pretty cool. That's what I use when I'm in a like backed into a corner in this game. Just wipe everyone out with your super attack. But it does take a while to charge, so I can't spam it too often. Am I gonna play the sequels? The sequels to what? To this game? Or or to to my games? Uh this as far as I'm aware, this game does have one sequel, uh, which is just Death vs. Monstars 2, pretty obvious. It's very similar to this one, but it kind of just expands on everything a little bit. I think there's a, a few more bosses, a few a few new super weapons you can use in that game, but otherwise it's very simple. So I would like to stream that one as well, but not right away because it's just too similar to this game. But this game is pretty short, it's uh, less than an hour long I believe. So if you just hang around, I'll get to the pretty hard levels pretty soon. Might not look particularly exciting yet, but you know, this is like level 4 or something like that. So it's gonna get a lot more interesting. You can maybe see my bullets, L skills. Though, well, technically most of the enemies in this game don't even shoot, they just try to fly into you. So I don't know if it counts as bullet L. I know people in the chat have recommendations for what Flash games I should check out. But uh, to begin with, I'm just gonna you play ones that I'm pretty familiar with, so that I, I know what to expect when I'm streaming, so I don't have any surprises. Because uh, I, I wouldn't want to have like technical problems, or, or I wouldn't want to get lost or stuck while I'm on stream. Because uh, I'm not I'm not great at improvising yet. I, I wouldn't know what to do. So so far, I'm just playing games that I'm pretty familiar with. So, I don't expect anything to go wrong. Anyway, uh, let's see. I've got 40,000 coins already. So, I'm just gonna upgrade my weapon by two steps right away. And uh, as you can see, you've got health, healing, berserk time, and berserk charge. I believe berserk is just that, uh, that super weapon that shoots off all the stars, so that can last a bit longer. But I don't really need that. So I'm gonna stick to upgrading my weapon and I'll maybe upgrade the other stuff if I start to die. But if I remember correctly, I, I have beaten this game without any other upgrades except for the weapon. So I think I'll be good. Uh, I tried playing Kingdom Rush, but I never really got into any tower defense games because, I don't know, I, I, I just don't understand, like, what the skill is in them, because as far as I can tell, it's just trial and error. I can never really tell what I'm doing wrong and what I'm doing right. So, like, I'll play a level and then I'll lose, and then I'm just confused, I'm not sure exactly why I lost. So, tower defense games never really clicked with me, because I, I just can't figure out what exactly I'm supposed to do to get better at them. Besides, like, try different strategies until I figure out what works. But I, I feel like I'm missing something when it comes to those games. And I think it was the same with uh, Kingdom Rush. Maybe I just suck. Alright, we're already like halfway through the game. That's uh it's progressing pretty quickly. Don't have enough money for any more weapons though. Alright, now we've uh we finally got some enemies to actually shoot. Bunch of weird eyeballs. The 
kind of art style in this game has always always been very curious. It, it doesn't really make sense. Like, you're a little strange, uh, very two-dimensional skull. All the enemies are kind of weird nightmare creatures that don't make any sense at all. Like, what are these guys supposed to be? I have no idea. They're all very strange. Oh, I think one of those little guys actually damaged me slightly. I think that's the first time I took damage. Oops. Took a bit more damage, though. Uh, one thing about this game is uh, there, there's no, like, uh, super armor frames. So if you get hit, you don't get any invulnerability, you can get hit right away again. So if you like bump into a monster, you have to get off him really fast, or else you're just going to keep taking damage repeatedly over and over again. So it's very easy for you to die if you just overlap a monster and don't move out of the way. Alright, still don't have enough money for any more upgrades. Well, weapon upgrades. I don't want the other stuff. Yeah, like, look at these monsters over here. What are these guys? They're like weird, weird oranges with really creepy teeth. Very strange. And I gotta kill 300 of them as well. Well, they pose no threat to me. If I beat this game pretty quickly, maybe I can play the sequel on the same stream, actually. I'll just have to uh, pause the stream for a second while I go set that up. I think that can be doable. This game might be even shorter than I remember. Because uh, I thought it was at least an hour long, but I think I'll finish it much faster than that. Maybe I'm just uh, too, too familiar with this game. It's too easy for me. So, uh, actually, it depends on how long I end up playing the Endless Mode for. The Endless Mode can last a pretty long time if you don't die. Okay, we've got a lot of oranges here. They're starting to multiply. But, you know, they're not very dangerous. Uh, let's catch up with the chat. Uh, yeah, Kingdom Rush did start off as a Flash game. I think uh, the first two or three games were Flash games. And I think when they went to other platforms, they actually reprogrammed them. So I think the Steam version's not running in Flash anymore. But I'm not sure. It's still, I mean, it, the graphics are still, still done in uh, Flash, obviously. But I think they just ported that to some other game engine. Are there any old Flash games that I miss playing? Uh, not really, because I can go back and play them whenever I want, whenever I feel like it. Though, uh, I feel like a lot of them have aged quite badly and they're not as good as I remember them being, so that kind of sucks when you go back to a game that you had really uh, good memories about, and then and then, then you realize, oh wait, it's uh, it's actually not as good as I remember. But that's not the case for all of them. Some of them are still just as fun as they always were. Zombatron? I've never played that. Maybe I'll have to try it out. Okay, I can get another weapon. Excellent. Epic War. Yeah, I played a... I can't remember which ones, but I've played a few of those. 
I think at least two of them. I think uh, I think it was Epic War 4 when I was playing. I remember that game being very laggy on my old computer. Like it was it was getting so slow towards the end that I wasn't sure if I was ever gonna finish it or not. But it was a pretty fun game though. And I, I think they kept making them up to like six or something. Or maybe more, I don't know. But I, I didn't play them all, but I think it was number four that I played. Maybe some others too, I don't know. I ever played Boxhead? Uh, that sounds familiar, but I'm not sure right now. I ever revisited the game and found it more difficult. Uh, I don't know about Flash games, but there's a lot of really old uh, DOS games that I remember playing as a kid for uh, Windows 95 and earlier. Uh, yeah, it was a Windows 95 computer I, I had it at the time, and like, uh, I learned how to like, use uh, DOS games on that. And uh, I thought, hey, I I'm an adult now, I can go back and finish some of those games that I couldn't finish as a kid because I'm much better at video games now. I can, uh, I can play Commander Keen and maybe actually beat it this time. And I was really surprised, those games are really hard. And it's, it's not just because, you know, they're like hard, it's just because they're so old and the controls are really awkward. Like, the way, uh, the way the movement works in Commander Keen, it's, it's really kind of counterintuitive by today's standards. Not only that, but like, the game has a lot of troll mechanics that you wouldn't really be allowed to do in a game today. Like, uh, I don't remember which one it was, I think Commander Keen 2? You find like a, a button that's like, self-destruct the space station or something, and then out of curiosity you press it and, you know, it just blows up the world and, and you get a game over right away. I mean, I don't know what I expected, but there's a lot of like, tricks like that in the old games. That and just, you know, the controls are not as polished as they are in games today. So yeah, if you ever get a chance, you know, Commander Keen is is what everyone was playing on old computers. Uh I yeah, Commander Keen and all the Apogee games games. What was the name of that company? I think it was just Apogee. They made like uh I think they made Duke Nukem and like Cosmos, Cosmic Adventure, and uh, Secret Agents, and other games like that. And those games are all great, but a lot of them are harder than I remember, just because of how awkward the controls were, and like like how unforgiving the level design was sometimes. You know, like, it was actually possible to like run out of resources in a level and then just not finish it because you made some really small mistake or something like that. And uh, the game doesn't tell you that, you know, you can't finish the level, you have to just you know, realize it yourself and then just exit or jump into a pit of lava or something. So yeah, those games are pretty tricky, but uh, I did manage to beat some of them. I did actually finish Secret Agent and Cosmos Cosmic Adventure like a year or two ago, because a lot of those old games are released on Steam now for like really cheap, so you can just play all these old DOS games on Steam for like a dollar or two. And that's pretty fun for like nostalgia reasons. If it's your first time playing them, then it might not be that fun unless you're like doing research on old games or something. But you know, if you played them as a kid, it's pretty interesting to revisit them and see how how strange games were back then. How the how the gameplay and controls is like very different than it is today. Oh, and the sound effects in these games are crazy. They have the craziest sound effects, they make no sense at all. Every, everything sounds like a malfunctioning robot. You pick up an item and it's like... Or something like that. It's just absurd. And yeah, while I was talking, I actually lost the level. But that's not because it was too hard, it's because I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to read the chat and talk. I mean, there's no way that this game would give me a hard time. Thank you. 
tower defense. Yeah, I, I tried playing one of those games like once. I, I just didn't get into it. It, it. it just didn't seem that interesting to me. But a lot of people seem to obviously like those games. But, you know, I tried. I didn't. I just didn't see that appeal. I guess the only game that I kind of like that's maybe considered a tower defense game is Plants vs. Zombies. I don't know if that actually counts as a tower defense game, but I quite like that one. I felt like I could actually figure out what I was doing in that game. Oh wait, this is getting actually hard. I need to be careful, I have to survive for 40 more seconds. Oh boy, my health is regenerating super slowly because I didn't upgrade anything. What do you guys think? Should I upgrade? Or should I keep trying to uh, win without any upgrades? That was unfortunate. Well, I have enough money for uh, for the strongest weapon. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try again with the strongest weapon, and if I lose again, then I'll I'll upgrade my health. Yeah, well I don't have to show off, but it's tempting. Finish the game too quickly if I play it properly. the only level? Well, the game pretty much stays the same. Yeah, it's just like each level is just more and more enemies. But there is a final boss, so uh, maybe I'll get to him pretty soon. seconds left. Almost no HP. Oh no, that's a lot of enemies. Nine seconds left. No! No! Okay, I'm gonna upgrade my HP. No more showing off. That's a lot of upgrades. Should be easy now.
don't know if the upgrades are actually helping very much. My health does not seem to be uh, regenerating very fast anyway. Oh well, who cares? Maybe I should have uh, considered using the slow motion feature, but you know, I, I don't want to reach over and hit my spacebar. I think the microphone will, hit, will pick that up. Tap it by accident. Or bump into it. Hey, looks like we're at almost 50 viewers, which is pretty much what I had uh, yesterday when I was streaming. What was it called? Economical. Which was a new puzzle game on the Congregate. It's nice to see that some people are interested in watching these streams. But, uh, I, I've enjoyed doing the last one so much that I kind of wanted to come back and do it right away again. But uh, the other reason I'm doing it is just because I just launched EBF5 on Steam, not Steam, on Congregate and on Newgrounds. So I'm kind of just distracting myself so I'm not sitting there just refreshing the page over and over again. Because that's what I would otherwise be doing. I just feel like trying to read all the comments and stuff. Uh, the comments aren't coming in that fast, so I don't, I don't have to be checking constantly. And as far as I'm concerned, there's probably not any bugs or anything to read for us because it's an old, stable version of the game. So I don't think there's likely to be anything wrong for people to find. And even if there is, you know, it's a free web version, so I'm not going to dedicate a lot of time to fixing problems. Well, this definitely went better than last time. Got a lot more HP this time. So, you know. It's noticeably easier. Wow. Yeah, I took a lot of hits, but I was nowhere close to dying. Ah, oh, this inspired Bullet Heaven, didn't it? Ah, uh, actually, not really. Bullet Heaven is a pretty traditional shoot 'em up that's inspired by more by like Japanese shoot 'em ups like Toho and Dodon Pachi and stuff like that. Pretty uh pretty classic stuff. This one uh this one's it's pretty unique. I I've not seen a lot of games that have similar control schemes to to this one that I'm playing now. All right, uh Warzone Take out 500 enemies and get to the final boss. Okay. That's almost everything upgraded. Your school didn't allow you to play games with blood. I'm surprised they let you play any games. I think for us, they just kept blocking any website that we found that wasn't blocked yet. We ended up using DeviantArts for a long time because they were pretty slow to block DeviantArts since it's not really, not really like a video game site or anything like that, but it's probably not something people should be browsing in school either. Uh, it was kind of a social network, actually. Yeah, I think DeviantArt can be called a social network. Long before Facebook even. Back in the days when uh, you didn't have to be yourself on the internet, you could just, you know, have a random cartoon avatar and you didn't have to tell anyone your real name. Remember that? That was fun. I miss those days. I hope those come back. They might have to come back because now uh, now people are kind of starting to worry that they don't have any privacy left. So I hope people start using like cartoon avatars and hiding the real name from now on. That's what I want to see. Like R2s or 
Narcos? I don't know how to pronounce that. I've never actually played that game. I, I saw that it was, it was on the front page of Conquer Gate, I think, for quite a long time. Uh, I never played that one. So, I don't know much about it. Alright, this level's pretty easy. Oh yeah, Nitrome's games, yeah. I haven't played all of Nitrome's stuff, but the ones that I did play were pretty good. They've got like really polished looking graphics and the gameplay concepts in their games are always pretty interesting. Like they don't do they don't do really kind of generic cookie cutter games. They always kind of come up with a really unique and interesting concept for each game that I don't think's ever been done before. So every one of their games is probably worth checking out. And I should probably go back and play more of them because I definitely didn't play them all. I remember, uh, I remember Canary, where you play as like a jetpack bird and you have to like cut things with your laser to get through obstacles or something like that. But I'm sure there was other ones that I played. I just can't remember them all right now. Maybe I could do a stream about uh, playing Nitrome games. Anyway, it's final boss time. Now, this guy's not too hard as long as I don't do anything stupid. Wait a second, where's the boss? Not to fight all these little blue guys. Oh, there he is. Uh, but what's he supposed to be? I don't know. See now we're uh, now we're getting to real bullet style gameplay here. Now I'm actually uh, properly dodging some bullet patterns here. They're not too hard. I think I am gonna have to play the sequel on the stream. That one has a lot of bosses that I can show off. I don't know, what do you guys want me to do? Do you want me to play the endless mode for a while, or do you want me to go straight to the next game when I finish this boss? Because uh, I think playing the next game might actually be more interesting. Uh, you, you've seen on every level, so endless mode is just basically that, but endless. And, uh, you know, I don't think my, uh, my amazing gameplay is going to be shown off very well live on stream because I'll be distracted and I'll be also a bit nervous. So I'm probably not going to play my best and it's probably not going to be worth showing off. Anyway, that's the boss dead. That wasn't too hard. Look, I rock. What a great joke. And the rock just flies away into the sky with some grass attached to it. Scotland. I just live in Scotland. And I don't sound American, I sound Canadian. I, 
try to read the chats, I just can't read it while playing this game because then I'll die. But uh, I'm trying to read it between levels, so I'm reading it now, I'm catching up. One endless attempt. Nah, endless can last a long time, and it looks like everyone wants me to play the next game. Uh, yeah, the second game also has an endless mode, so maybe I can try that instead. Anyway, that's Death vs. Monstars, so I, I guess I'll try to set up the next game. So, let's see. Do, 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 do. What do I do? I have to change to... Alright, to be right back. There we go. It's set to be right back. Okay, now you guys can't see my screen while I set up the next game. That's, uh, that's perfect. But I'm still here and I'm still chatting, so... Say whatever you want to say to me, I guess. Yeah, I'll try to give people more uh, warning when my next stream is coming up. I gave people 20 minutes warning this time, which isn't enough. But the thing is, I don't I don't always know what I'm going to stream. I just stream whenever I feel like it. And if I commit to it a long time in advance, then it's going to start feeling like a job. And I don't want this to feel like a job. I want to do it just for fun whenever I'm bored. You know, I don't want to turn all of my hobbies into uh, into jobs. And so far, I'm still enjoying streaming, so I'd like to keep enjoying it for a while. All right, I'm gonna grab, grab a drink real quick. And today, I don't have any alcohol, I only have tonic water. Not because I have anything against drinking, just because I'm on a diet and I can't drink alcohol all the time. And this is sugar-free tonic water. So that's how you know I'm cool. Alright, let's see. No, what's that? That's not what I wanted. Uh... <laughs> Let's see, how do I get back to where I was? Okay, that was it. It's a bit off center though. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's uh, close enough to the center, I think. Expand. Alright, okay. That works. Happy, guys? Happy? You can see the screen good now? Oh, a lot of people left. I only took a break for like two minutes and like, like 20 people left. Hmm. What's tonic water like, by the way? Uh, most people don't like it, as far as I know. It's very bitter. Anyway, this is Death vs. Monstars 2, and it's very similar to the first game, but... It's made a little bit better. It's got more bosses and slightly better graphics. And also more upgrades. So it's pretty cool. It's a pretty good sequel, you know. When you get a sequel to a game you like, you pretty much want it to be the same game, but better. You don't want them to change too much. And that's basically what this game is. Like, uh, just, just looking at it, you can tell, hey, it's the same game, but it looks shinier. The graphics are better, and there's more to do. There's more upgrades and stuff. So, that's how you know it's a pretty good sequel. Like, look at those clouds in the background. 
Remember the previous game? It had clouds as well, but now they're slightly more detailed. Oh, I don't even start with, with any super weapon this time. I have to buy it right away. Hmm. You got a lot of super weapons in this game, though. So much so that you can almost spam them all the time by the end of it. You don't have to wait too long for anything to charge. Hey, Dingo, what's up? With a username like Dingo, I just I just had to give you a shout out. How would Bullet Heaven work as a horizontal shooter? I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> I have no idea. Wow, check this end screen. That is that's brutal, man. That's savage. I've just massacred all of these innocent monsters. What have they done to deserve this? Can I buy anything? Can I uh, can I afford a better weapon? Yeah, okay, I can afford one. All right, cool. Let's let's do that then, and let's go into level two. Maybe some people just wanted to watch Death vs. Monsters one and not the second one. That's why they left. I I don't know. I think whenever I take a quick break, lots of people always leave, so maybe they're taking breaks as well? Um, I'm assuming that some of them will be back later. Forbidden Arm? Uh, I don't think I've ever heard of that one. Ouch. I took some bullets to the face. Or, um, to the skull, rather. Straight to the skull. Alright, to the shop. What can I buy? Oh, can't afford the next weapon. Double your income with this fancy gentleman outfit? Wow, well, I kind of want that, but I don't have 40,000 coins. Maybe I should save up so that I can double my money. I can't believe the first game was only like 30 minutes long. I thought it was longer. I think 30 minutes would be too short for a stream because some of you probably waited 30 minutes for me to start the stream. I don't know. What do you guys think a reasonable length for a stream is? I think one hour is probably too short. Maybe one and a half is okay, or even two. I think uh, my EBF5 streams are a bit long, but I'd never finish the game if I did shorter episodes. It's just too long of a game, so I have to do three or four hour streams for that one. Once again, we've got some weird alien blobs for the monsters in this game. No idea what they're supposed to be besides weird blobs with eyeballs. But, uh, that's the fun thing about games, you can just put whatever you want in them. It doesn't have to make sense at all. And as far as I'm concerned, this game is pretty unique. Like, I've not seen a lot of games that play like this or look like this. Like, I don't even know how to describe this look. It's just a really weird game. Oops, took some damage there from these big blue guys. Ha, he dropped a diamond. Nice. 
I have 30,000 coins. That's still not enough to double my money. That stupid house costs 40,000. Hmm. Alright, I'll play another level. But I think I should upgrade my weapon and maybe get the house later. Look at that. The strongest upgrade is Troll Face. Haven't seen that meme in a long time. Do you guys know the history of Troll Face? It was a super popular meme that 4chan invented, but then uh, the guy who originally drew the picture, he sold the rights to DeviantArt. So DeviantArt owns the rights to Trollface now, and they're selling like t-shirts and stuff. And ever since that happened, everyone on the internet just stopped using that meme. It is now a dead meme, just because someone tried to sell house. I mean... It's, it's kind of funny though, because usually usually people want to respect artists' copyright and all that, but I don't think that applies when it comes to internet memes. Because the meme is more than just your original art. Like, it's taken on a whole life of its own by that point, so you can't just come back and say like, Oh, this crappy drawing I drew a long time ago, now that it's like super famous, I'm gonna come back and reinforce my uh, copyright or whatever. I think that's, uh, that's not a very nice move, man. I think the internet should own that thing by now. But anyway, as soon as that happened, no one ever used Trollface ever again. And rightly so. You can't make a meme out of something that's copyrighted. Or not a good one anyway. Imagine if the guy that drew uh, Pepe the Frog came back and tried to uh, try to sell t-shirts and say no one else can sell t-shirts with Pepe the Frog because he's mine, I made him. Well, I don't know what would happen in that case. I think people are very attached to Pepe the Frog and... <laughs> I don't know. But I guess that would probably kill the meme as well. Pepe survived becoming a Nazi, but he wouldn't survive being copyright claimed. Alright, that's another level done. How much? Okay, I have enough money for top hats. Nice. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna, gonna buy the shield, because surprisingly enough, the shield is actually the best weapon, believe it or not. Oh, ooh, challenges. Oh, I get A to use the shield. Cool. So the shield is not really a shield, it's more of a weapon because I can just ram enemies when my shield is on and it kills them very fast. So it's a pretty good weapon. Oh, I also unlocked the death ray. I didn't realize. So what's the goal in this challenge? I don't know. Oh, I don't have a gun. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, anyway, here's the shield. There's the death ray. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's kind of hard to aim that thing, though. Oops. Did some damage there. Yeah, as you can see, I don't really need to have my normal weapon. I can just kill everything with my shield and death ray. So that works well. And it works even better when you get to the really hard survival levels. Because there's so many enemies, you can't possibly shoot them all on time, but... When you've got the shield, you just go straight through everything, and you have so much piercing damage that it doesn't matter how many enemies there are, you can still kill them all really fast. Oops. Took some damage there. Yeah, DeviantArt owns Trollface. It's kind of ridiculous, but it's true. <laughs> oh, will I stream my older games? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if they'd be that exciting to watch. Brawl Royale especially, because that game is just... It's just repetitive, it's just doing the same thing over and over again if you lose, and I probably will lose. Or if I don't lose, then I'll, I'll just win the first time and the game will be like five minutes long, which probably won't make for a good stream either.
Okay, so this level is all about, uh... Wait, what? I quit my shield? I didn't read what it said there. Whoops. Avoid getting hit on the third level without any weapon or upgrade for 20 seconds. Okay, okay. Just avoid getting hit. Okay. Let's do this. Oops. Got hit already. But 20 seconds isn't very long. I can do this. The key is to just go around in big circles. There we go. Easy. Alright, it's time for the first boss. So you might notice the first boss is actually the final boss from the previous game, except now he's got bandages because we beat the crap out of him. Still not very hard though. Even though oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Easy. The shield doesn't really do very much damage to him. It's probably not worth the risk of ramming into the boss. Alright, that's his HP down to half. Unlike the first game, in this game you really do need to upgrade your character because this one's a bit longer and you're not going to get very far without upgrades. Like, uh, even this boss is, you know, he's quite a long boss, so... Beating him without taking a single hit would be really hard. Because he's, he's still got like half his HP left. The hardest part is when he transitions from one uh, one attack pattern to another one, and I get caught off guard. Otherwise, uh, I can dodge these quite reliably. Good thing I have a pretty good mouse. Otherwise, it wouldn't be so easy. There we go. That's a pretty cool looking explosion. For a flash game especially, that was uh, pretty impressive looking. Alright. Can I afford to buy anything? I need 80,000. Wow. I guess I'll buy more shield. More death ray. Ooh, shockwave. Nice. Just buy all the upgrades, man. Have I ever played Toho? Uh, yeah, I think I've played... I don't remember their names. I think it was the the 8th one? Number 8 or 9? Was it called, like, uh, Imperishable Nice or something? I think that's the one. I played that one for a while. Oh, there's four bosses, so that was the first one. Alright, here's a enemy that didn't show up in the first game. Random exploding guy. I 
shield is really good for these guys. Because uh, they're not very dangerous if their explosion doesn't hurt me. Cool. Random rock dudes. Well, they look like rocks, but I think they're supposed to be robots. Star-shaped guys are back. Now they're green for some reason. Whoa, 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 whoa. Need to be careful. Three waves left, huh? Oh no, I died. Got a bit too close there to the enemies. Hmm. Oh well. I guess I'll upgrade some health. Boring. Shield health. Alright, what else can I buy? Alright, let's try again. That was a bit tricky towards the end. As you can see, I'm not, I'm not talking very much because it's uh, it's getting harder. It's uh, definitely harder than the first game. So uh, I need to focus. All right, let's let's power up our weapon. Oh wow, that's a, that's a big enemy. These guys are basically just massive flying walls that try to crush you against the edge of the screen. So, gotta watch out for that. But, they are very weak against the shield, so that works. It's always useful to uh, keep your shield for emergencies, like when you gotta get out of a bad situation. If I'm trapped in the corner, I'll just turn the shield on and just ram through all the enemies. 
And that'll take care of most of my problems. Just like that. Oh no, no, it didn't work! Oh, whoops. I, I managed that very badly. <laughs> How embarrassing. I'm not as good at this as I thought I was. Maybe I'm a bit rusty. weapons I have. The shield doesn't do very much damage right now though, I wonder why. I remember the shield being much more powerful, so I'm thinking it's one of those other hats that gives me more shield power. Alright, let's see. Oh, 20 times collision damage to enemies. Yeah, that's that's the one I want. That seems a bit overpowered. trying to figure out exactly how to control that, uh, that death beam. Sometimes uh, it goes nicely where I want it to go, sometimes it just flops around all over the place. Uh, I think I've figured it out. I need to make sure I'm aiming in a direction when I start using that beam. That way, that way it'll just shoot nice and straight. Oh cool, it's uh, time for another boss. So maybe I should uh, do some of the optional levels first. What's this? Destroy the... Oh, 35 seconds uh, for the previous boss. Maybe I'll upgrade more stuff first. Only supercharged death rate. Okay, let's try this. Constant death rate, huh? Seems easy enough. Oops. Uh oh. Game just lagged for a second there. Not sure why. But it almost got me killed. Can I make it out alive? Oh, we'll see. Okay, okay, so far so good. Ouch, 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 ouch.
There we go. No, oh, wrong way, wrong way. Man, this, this beam is a bit unpredictable. It's a really good weapon as long as all of the enemies are on one side of me, but when they get behind me and I have to start aiming in all directions, it gets really tricky. Hey, look, it's another dead meme. Complete level 7 without taking any damage. You can use your shield. Really hard, huh? Maybe I'll come back to that one later. Oh, I can't afford troll face, but almost. Alright, boss time. So, this guy is interesting. What's he supposed to be? I have no idea. Whoa. Okay, that's not so bad. HP's going down quite nicely. He's halfway done. Uh -oh, I need to be pretty careful here. But yeah, I think this is a bit more interesting to watch than the first game. It's uh, better graphics, but also just more interesting bosses. So the first game was, I think, 10 or 11 years old, and this one's, uh, this one's made two or three years after the first one. So it's a little bit newer, but it's still, it's still very old by, uh, by internet standards. But, you know, it still, it still plays completely fine if you, uh, if you have the Flash browser plugin installed. If you don't want to install Flash in your browser, you can still play this uh, if you use something like the Newgrounds player to play it offline on your desktop. Uh, I, I think this game is on Newgrounds. I, I don't know if I ever played it there. I always play it on Congregate, but I'm sure it's on Newgrounds as well and you can just play it offline there. Alright, that was only a second boss, so I'm only halfway through the game, and things are starting to get a little bit harder already. I really want to get that troll face though, because as far as I'm concerned, that's the best power up. Yeah, all the memes are dead because this game's 10 years old. That does make sense. But not all memes die that quickly. How old is Pepe the Frog? Because I think that meme's been around for a long time. I think my favorite meme of all time was probably Nyan Cats. I'm, I'm kind of sad that one died because I liked watching all the YouTube videos and uh, remixes of the song. Oh boy. need more power. I need to get that troll face so that I can just ram enemies to death with the shield. Because right now, some of these big guys, they, uh, they resist me very well. These blue guys have too much HP for the shield. Whoa, that's a lot of enemies.
All right, that level was pretty easy. Troll face is still used? Really? I've not seen anyone use troll face in a really long time. All right, let's see. Okay, that's the strongest weapon now. Cool. Now I just have to save up for the troll face. I'm pretty happy that, like, magnetism is on upgrade in this game. Like, you don't have to upgrade your ability to uh, suck in coins. Like, they just always get sucked in right from the start of the game. So, you don't have to really worry about collecting coins too much. Which is nice, because no one wants to not be able to collect coins. That should just be a feature you get right away. But a lot of games make you upgrade that feature just to, uh, to slow down your progression. Actually, I think Bullet Heaven 1 did that as well. Oops. I gotta be really careful when I get to the edges of the screen because uh, if my mouse leaves the screen, I can't control my guy very well. Alright, time for another boss already. Uh, I'm gonna try to go back and do the first boss, but faster. Ah, uh, yeah, this looks like it's pretty easy. Got a lot of upgrades now, so this guy should go down in no time. All right, he's uh, he's almost dead. He's not looking too happy, and there he goes. Nice explosion, and we're done. Do the hat abilities stack? Nah, I don't think they do. I think you just get to pick your favorite hat. Okay, yeah, I've got enough money for Trollface now, so I'm just gonna stick to him. And I might as well buy uh, bullet time. I've, I've already got so much money because I've been wearing the, the top hats for the whole game to double all of my coins. So that's handy. But anyway, I have troll face now, so I should be able to ram people with my shield and do massive damage that way. Including killing the much bigger enemies very fast. So that's cool, but uh, let's... well, the troll face isn't really going to help me for the boss. So... I'm going to do this level then. I'm going to try this one without taking any damage. Anyway, this is what Trollface does. Just obliterates everything. And the shield also charges really fast. Oh yeah, I've got bullet time as well. So I need to remember to use that one too. There's so many uh, so many special uh, things you can do in this game. So many special weapons. Oh no! My shield wasn't charged in time. Whoops. Messed that one up. But I got this, guys. I can do this. I just need to be really careful and, uh, and pay attention and not mess up my timing with the shield. 
because there's there's nothing worse than needing to use the shield and you realize it's not charged. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna gonna pay attention this time. There we go. Not so hard when I stop talking. Kill this boss with 60 seconds. Uh, let's see. Well, I have fully upgraded everything. Oh, double death ray duration. Yeah, I'm gonna use this for the boss. Alright, so with the uh, double death ray, I should be doing crazy damage to this guy. He's gonna go down in no time. Much less than 60 seconds. Yeah, that was less than 30 seconds. Wow. Yeah, the uh, double death ray, you know? Nice, cool sunglasses. That's working pretty well for me. Maybe I should use that against this boss as well. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Whoa, what is he? What's he supposed to be? Okay, that was pretty bad. I took all the damage there. Ouch, 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 ouch. I messed up badly there. Okay, okay, that's good. I relied too much on my uh, my special abilities there and just kind of stopped dodging because I thought I could block everything with the shield. That was a bad idea. Okay, only a few more levels to go. For these levels, maybe I should have put Troll Face back on. Because I do like the Death Beam, but I like ramming enemies with the shield even more. Oh yeah, another nice thing this game does is, as you can see, there's no more coins! All the coins are gone because I don't need money anymore. So, as soon as I have everything upgraded, the game stops giving me money. Which is pretty handy, because now it's not cluttering the screen anymore.
Cool. Defeat the boss with only the supercharged ray. That's gonna be tricky. Ah, get away from me, guys. Ugh, ugh. How am I supposed to defend myself? Those little helper guys are harder than the actual boss. I need to keep those guys away from me. Okay, that wasn't too bad. It was just a bit at the start, it was a bit tricky because I got uh, back into the corner the first time. Alright, that's all the optional stuff done. I think there's uh, oh, the last pathetic group of minions before the final boss. All right, we're getting there. And there's nothing left for me to buy, so back to troll face. Let's uh let's finish off the game here. Oops. I forgot to turn the shield on before tackling the enemies. It's not something you want to do. That was easy. Are you guys ready for the final boss? Are you ready to see what kind of monstrosity we have to fight now? Oh, it looks like a giant egg. Hey, it is a giant egg. Whoa, I almost died. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I, I should have maybe not kept troll face on. Oh, wait, what? Whoops. That was a very poor first attempt, but I know what I'm doing now. I will not make that same mistake again.
There we go. That wasn't too bad. His HP went down really fast. Alright, what do we guess? What's the ending gonna look like? Hey, thanks for helping me clean up this mess. I'm going on a break now, so that's good news for everyone. You can use my throne if you like, but no funny business. I want it back in mint condition or else. Wow, that was a really good story, guys. I cry every time. Like, uh, this is up there with the best of video game stories, I think. It's up there with The Last of Us or, uh, or whatever other games have good stories. I don't know. I don't really play story games. So, I've got, uh, I've got two bonus levels here, and then I've got endless mode. So, I'm gonna do those, and then I'm gonna end the stream. But, it might take me a while, so let's see how it goes. Complete this level with very cheap equips. Alright, let's try it. So my shield is not a very good weapon in this level right now, because it's very weak. So I'm gonna have to rely on this death ray, I think. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. Yeah, my weapons are super weak. I don't think I even have to bother with the shockwave, because it did so little damage there. Eleven waves. Man, this is a long level. But I'm doing okay, I'm not taking too much damage. But I can easily change. Like, if enemies get me into that corner and I don't have any shield left, then they can easily take off all of my HP. Oops, that was, that was bad. Yeah, three lasers got me. Last wave. Nice. All right.
right, what's the last challenge? Defeat the Egg of Doom without taking any damage. So the final boss is literally just called the Egg of Doom. Nice. Without taking any damage. Shields are okay. It's gonna be tricky. No damage final boss. Okay. I did it. Okay, that wasn't too hard. Okay, that's all the challenges done. The only thing left is endless survival mode. So, we'll see how well I do on this. Let's see, I'm gonna... Oh, I've got, I've got this game kind of on, like cinematic mode on congregate so I'm gonna turn that off for a second I'm gonna go over here and have a look at my high scores uh, achievements where's the high scores did they take them down that's weird there used to be a high scores section here I wonder what happened to that because I had some pretty good scores. But anyway, you can see I already got the impossible badge, which is uh, 500,000 points in survival. But uh, yeah, uh, I wonder what happened to the leaderboards, because uh, I could have sworn this game had them. Anyway, back to cinematic mode. There we go. Wait a second. No, no, no. I I don't want to play as sunglasses, dude. I want to play as troll face. There we go. Okay, now um, I'm going to try not to talk through this. I'm just going to focus and, and see if I can get a good score. Just keep in mind that 500,000 points is what you need for the impossible badge. And impossible badges on Congregate are usually very hard. In a lot of games they might actually be impossible for most people if you don't have really good like action game reflexes. So uh, yeah let's see how well I do. Far so good. Away 
from me.
boy. This game is very generous with how much HP you have. I have taken a lot of hits. Ooh, I'm still here.
done. I'm out. Ugh, I got overpowered. But I'm pretty happy with that. I got the impossible badge easily and then went well beyond. Uh, I'm not doing that again. That was, uh, that was quite a long match, and uh, I'm pretty happy with my score. So yeah, I guess that's the end of the stream, guys. So thanks for watching. Give me a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment if you want to request a different game for next time. Like, uh, if it's something that I recognize, I'll be happy to play it again if I enjoyed it before. And if it's something completely new, I'll I'll consider playing it for the first time. So let me know if you enjoyed this and if you want me to play anything else. And otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. So, laters.